Hello learners, welcome to this IGNO Facebook live session. Today we are going to discuss one of the very popular and important program of Indira Gandhi National Open University that is MA Education Program. Today uh, we will discuss uh, this program in two sessions. In first session we will discuss about an introduction to MA Education Program and in the second session we will discuss one of the very important component of this program that is dissertation. Uh, before starting uh, our discussion, uh, let me to introduce myself, I Dr. Niradhar De, faculty member, School of Education, Indira Gandhi National Open University. Welcome you all to this IGNO Facebook live session. Uh, as you know, uh, this program, MA Education program is one of the popular program of Indira Gandhi National Open University. And uh, what we have observed over the years, we are getting a consistent uh, enrollment in this program. And uh, that is also you will find the presence of this program is across our regional, center, uh, regional centers across our country. And in every uh, session, we are getting, uh, you can say, the uh, uh, increase of enrollment in this program. So friends, let us start our discussion uh, from the very beginning uh, of the objectives of the program. First of all, uh, uh, the objective of the program is to uh, provide learning experiences which will enable students to understand and appreciate knowledge structure and paradigm of education. As you know, education is a discipline. Just like other discipline, education is also a liberal discipline and a liberal subject which is being practiced uh, in uh, our higher education system in different colleges and in different universities. Many a time uh, uh, people ask about uh, the very knowledge structure and uh, very knowledge discourses in the discipline of education. That what are the different courses, what are the different content and what are the different practices, what are the different activities are being discussed in uh, MA education program. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when you will go through uh, the detailed component of this program, different courses of this program, you will find that it addresses varieties of knowledge structure, varieties of, uh, you can say, uh, 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 knowledge paradigm that deal in the discipline of education. It may be related to different perspectives of education, it may be philosophical perspective of education, it may be psychological perspectives of education, it may be sociological perspective of education or it may be historical perspective of education. So this uh, discipline or this program will enable you to understand the development of education in our country starting uh, from very beginning of the ancient system of education in Gurukul system of education and we have reached at the modern system of education. So you will find that how there is a chronological development that has been happened in our country so far as education is concerned. That is also, uh, you know, uh, development of education at a different sector, at different stages. You can say at the school education stage, at the teacher education stage, at the higher education stage, at the technical education stage. So this program will help you to understand different paradigms of education, development of education and different construct of knowledge so far as educational discipline is concerned. And uh, the scope of this program is also uh, to cater to deal, uh, you can say the practical aspect or the pra practice aspect of education. Just like I can uh, give you the example, uh, uh, you know, uh, teacher education is one of the professional branch uh, of the broad discipline of education. So this program will also orient you to be a teacher, to be a teacher educator, at the same time to gain varieties of knowledge that you can further use for your own development and to make education discipline as a profession in your life. The second objective of this program uh, is to understand education as a discipline from different contexts and perspectives. I have already uh, explained that uh, uh, the different perspectives of education may be related to educational technology, may be related to online education, 
may be related to philosophical perspective of education, psychological perspective of education, sociological perspective of education, at the same time historical perspective of education. You will find, uh, you will go through a detailed understanding about how education functions, how education works in different sector uh, of society, uh, different sector of our, uh, of our educational development. And for the uh, another objective of this program is to develop professionals for uh, effective participation in educational actions and discourses in different areas of education. We talk about measurement and evaluation, we talk about uh, educational research. In a higher education system, if you will pursue a discipline, you will pursue a master program, research is one of the integrated part of any higher education system. So that is why in this program you will be acquainted with uh, first of all to understand what is educational research and at the same time what processes that you have to follow for conducting one educational research, for conducting uh, a type of project, a type of research. So that is why when I talk about education as a discipline, it includes different perspectives of uh, education at the same time research at the same time operational dimensions of education also. That means uh, education being a discipline, how it operates, how it functions in different dimensions of the society, how it functions at the uh, you can say school education stage, at the pre-primary education stage, at the secondary and senior secondary education stage, then further at the higher, uh, higher education stage, then technical and professional education stage. So that is why different areas of knowledge that are being discussed in education you will be acquainted uh, uh, with it. Then for the another objective of this program is to create a community of scholars adequately equipped for participation in educational discourses. So the very objective and the very aim of this program is to create a group of scholars those are well acquainted with uh, you can say with different educational knowledge with different educational discourses and you will find that uh, uh, a group of uh, scholars who will pursue this program uh, can be a teacher educator, they can uh, teach uh, at the teacher education in institutions, uh, they can teach the BA, they can teach the MED students and they can be a faculty, they can be a faculty to teach education as a liberal subject also at the same time. Uh, in different other areas just like in different non-government organization sector, even if one can also establish himself or herself by doing certain independent work in the field of education and one can be established a school also, one, one can work as an educational administrator also. So friends, this program will help you, uh, you can say, uh, profess, uh, help you to be professionally trained to be a teacher educator. At the same time, this program will also help you to understand uh, education uh, in its totality and to work as a teacher and as a professional in different other aspects also. Uh, now let us go forward. Uh, to discuss about different other aspects of uh, this MA education program. Uh, first of all, the eligibility of this program is a bachelor's degree in any discipline with or without a degree in education from a recognized university. So here anyone who is having a bachelor's degree can enroll in MA education, pro MA education program. Total credit of this program is of 68. And uh, uh, this is a uh, two years program. In first year, the learners uh, have to study 34 credits and in the second year, they have to study 34 credits. Uh, I have already said that the minimum duration of this program is of two years and maximum duration of this program is of four years. And uh, this program is offered in both the sessions uh, of Indira Gandhi National Open University. As per the IGNU practices, we offer MA education program in January as well as July session of every year. For January, for July 2021 session, just enrollment uh, admission process uh, uh, has uh, completed and uh, 
very shortly admission process will start for January 2022 session. If you have not enrolled, uh, definitely enroll in this program. Further, so far as medium of instruction is concerned, uh, the medium of instruction of MA education program is, uh, is English. Uh, the self-learning material that we have developed, that is in English language. However, one can write their assignments, term and examination, and dissertation in Hindi medium. Course-wise assignment uh, are there. Uh, every course, the learners, they are supposed to write the assignment. So, the assignment they can write both in English as well as in Hindi language. And uh, uh, as per IGNU practices, we conduct term and examination uh, twice in a year, that is uh, in the month of June and further in the month of December in every year. So, that is why in term and examination, if you want, uh, you can write your term and examination in English as well as in Hindi. And further, in the second year of this program, uh, one important uh, you know, course is there, practical oriented course is there, that is dissertation. In dissertation, uh, you are supposed to prepare a research proposal, then you have to uh, do a research and you have to submit a research report. So, here for preparing the research proposal as well as for preparing the research report, you can write it in both the languages in English as well as Hindi as per your uh, you can say uh, uh, language expertise in which language you are comfortable uh, either in English or in Hindi you can write your assignment term and examination as well as dissertation. And so far as program fee is concerned you will find that in every session there is slightly change in the program fee. So, that is why I am not going through uh, the program fee that was fixed uh, that, uh, that was for the July 2021 session. So, you have to go through the IGNU common prospectus uh, when uh, uh, you know, uh, admission announcement will be done. So, you will find that the total program fee. So, so far as January 2021 session, total program fee was 18,400. The learners, they have to pay 9,200 at the first year uh, of the MA education program and again 9,200 at the second year of this program. Let us go forward. Uh, so far as the program framework is concerned, uh, uh, you know, MA education program comprises in four groups of courses with differential weightage. Four groups are just like first group is basic course on education, second group is core courses, third group is courses on knowledge generation in education and group D is specialized areas in education. So, these are the four different components, four different areas. Uh, in which the entire two years program is developed. Now, let us go forward to understand that what are the different courses are there in each area. First of all, the first group is basic course in education. You will find uh, one course that is included in this group that is course code is MES011 and the course title is understanding education. This is a four credit course and this course is offered in the first year of this program. As you know, uh, uh, in eligibility, I have said that those have studied education as a discipline, as a subject in their graduation level, they are eligible to pursue an education program and uh, the learners, those have not pursued education or studied education as a discipline in their graduation program, they can also pursue this program. So, keeping in consideration uh, of a learner who has not studied as a uh, um, subject or a discipline at the graduation level, this course has been kept specifically for them. Though it is for all, but mostly it will be beneficial to those group of learners who, ha uh, uh, who have not studied education as a discipline at their graduation level. So, here you will uh, uh, you know, uh, go through uh, you know, educational uh, uh, contents and concepts relating to the concept of education and uh, uh, different areas of education. So, this is the basics or you can say to understand education as a discipline. So, this course is a type of surface level of course and further this course will link you to other courses. So, this course will help you to understand the content and deliberations that are being included in other courses of MA education program. Now, further in the second group, 
that is the core courses this is the group of core courses in this group you will find four different courses are there that is mes 012 education nature and purpose mes 013 learning learner and development mes 014 that is societal context of education then mes 015 that is operational dimensions of education uh, you will find that uh, total uh, credit of each course in this group is of 6 so total four courses are there in this group uh, all the courses are the core courses compulsory courses so total 24 credit courses you have to study from this group from uh, group b so let me to say the first course that is education nature and purpose uh, uh, nature and purpose will help you to understand uh, the very uh, content the very concept that are included uh, uh, you know uh, uh, in education discipline so you have to understand about the nature the meaning nature and scope of education different agencies of education then uh, you will come across to understand the philosophical perspective of education okay so uh, you will find that it may be uh, the concept of education given by different educationist great educationist it may be eastern uh, it may be western educationist or it may be eastern educationist you can take the example of gandhi ji you can take the example of rabindranath tagore you can get, uh, give the example of swami vivekananda so you will find that how they have conceptualized uh, education and and what is their concept uh, that how school should be there what is their concept about a school and what is their concept about curriculum how curriculum should be designed and and what are the content and what are the concept that supposed to include in school curriculum what the learners what the students they supposed to study at the school education stage at the uh, uh, higher education stage or also in different uh, technical and uh, professional education and this course will also help you to understand the pedagogical aspect that means what methods what techniques what strategies uh, uh, supposed to be used to teach the students and friends the second course course code is mes 013 and course title uh, title is learning learner and development so this is another course uh, it will uh, help you to understand the psychological perspectives of education so here you will come across to understand the concept of psychology then concept of education then the concept of educational psychology how psychology helps to understand education and how psychological theories psychological concepts psychological laws are being practiced in education so that's why education is called as a practice discipline so far as uh, uh, you can say if you will correlate it if you will uh, uh, understand in the context of psychology the theory the principles that are being given that are being discussed in psychology are being practiced in education it may be relating to study habits it may be relating to you can say intelligence different attributes different variables you can take the example you can take the example of attitude you can take the example of achievement you can take the example of uh, intelligence what are the different theories of intelligence how intelligence can be measured okay so friends this course will help you to understand the psychological perspective then accordingly how to practice it in education so far as teaching learning process is concerned okay so how to design curriculum as per the child centered approach okay so what is the concept of the constructivism what is the concept of the constructivist approach of teaching learning process so how to design a curriculum how to teach the students how to engage the students in teaching learning process how to understand the learners how to understand different uh, understand their different uh, mental abilities okay so that is also another important aspect of this course and for the mes 014 that is societal context of education it is another course this course will help you to understand uh, the sociological perspective of education to understand our society to understand the diversity of our society then how education is called as a miniature of the society how education is 
import one of the important aspect of the society and how society and education are interlinked with each other how education helps for the development of the society at the same time how our societal practices our societal norm our society that also help for the development of education so this course will help you to understand our society at the same time to understand education also further the last course of this group that is mes 014 that is societal context uh, that is uh, 015 that is operational dimensions of education this course will help you to understand how education operates in different areas different areas of our educational system okay it may be school education it may be higher education it may be technical education it may be different professional education so uh, and uh, this course will also help you different regulatory bodies okay so how the regulatory bodies function how uh, uh, you can say uh, how they discharge their duties and how they manage education in the country so uh, this is one of the practical course you can say that you will you will understand about different operational issues that we follow in our country so far as the development of education is concerned further in group c uh, you have the courses on knowledge generation in education in this group two courses are there that is mes 016 course title is educational research this is a six credit course and further mesp 001 course title is dissertation this is a 10 credit course mes 016 educational research uh, is included in the first year of this program and dissertation that is included in the second year of this program so here you see courses on knowledge generation that means whatever you have studied uh, it may be in the uh, understanding education course in the group a and further the core courses in group b here you have to apply it for generating new knowledge for generating new concept so that's why you have to create certain things you have to do certain things so keeping in consideration for doing a research for creating certain new knowledge here two courses have been kept first educational research you will acquaint yourself that what is the concept what are the different approaches what are the different processes that you have to follow for conducting educational research how to select a problem then after selecting a problem how to conduct a study what types of tools that you supposed to develop supposed to prepare for collecting data how to collect a sample okay and for the uh, what are the different methods that you supposed to use for conducting a study okay and for the how to analyze the data that uh, uh, you got by using uh, the tools that you have developed then after analyzing the data how to write a report and uh, starting from preparing a research proposal then for the writing a uh, research report you will acquaint yourself with different uh, all the processes uh, for conducting one educational research so this course will enable you and this course will provide you a theoretical understanding about conducting first of all understanding about educational research and further conducting educational research and the second course that is dissertation so whatever knowledge whatever concept whatever understanding you have got from educational research you have to apply here you have to implement here so in this course you have to in dissertation you have to prepare a research proposal you have to do the dissertation and at the same time you have to write a report in our next session we'll discuss with full detail that what are the different operational issues are there so far as the dissertation course is concerned now let us go forward in group d we have the courses related to specialized areas in education friends here you will find that five different specialized areas are there just like higher education distance education educational management and administration educational technology and adult education five different areas of specialized courses are there what you have to do the learners have to select any one area among the five areas and have to study all the courses in that area here total credit in each area is of 24 so friends in each area you will find uh, 24 credits courses you will find either four courses are there in each in one area or in only in one area that is in the second area in distance education five courses are there but so far as credit is concerned in every area 24 credit courses are there what you have to do you have to select 
any one area among these five areas and you have to study all the courses that are included uh, uh, <coughs> uh, that are included in that area in the second year. Uh, to more uh, uh, you know uh, specific uh, in five different areas in higher education you see four courses are there MES 101, 102, 103 and 104 distance education five courses are there educational management and administration four courses are there educational technology four courses and adult education four courses so among these five areas you have to select any one area and you have to study all the courses included in that area uh, so far as uh, uh, you know uh, the program transaction is concerned uh, uh, you know uh, first of all you will find a complete self-learning material for this uh, program including the core courses, including the knowledge generation courses at the same time specialized areas courses that are being included in the second year and you will also find a program guide at the same time you will also find one dissertation handbook ok. So that are uh, uh, all the courses the soft copy of the courses at the same time program guide and dissertation handbook uh, are uploaded in e Gyankos portal of Indira Gandhi National Open University and, and if you have opted to get the hard copy then definitely you will get the print material a complete learning material learning package printed learning material uh, at your home uh, uh, at your home in, in post ok. So you will go through you will read the materials and further uh, another important uh, aspect of program transaction that is we conduct counseling session. Uh, in each course and also we conduct induction program uh, uh, at the study center or at the regional center level and, and we have also started taking uh, sessions online by using different Facebook live uh, by using Facebook live or in YouTube live also just like today I am discussing about this program we will also take many sessions relating to e induction relating to other aspect of this program. And uh, I have already said that compulsory assignment uh, is one of the evaluation strategy of this program. In every course you will find that assignment is there, you have to write the assignment you, and you have to submit the assignment. 30 percent credit is given for your certification special in this category special in assignment. And for the term and examination 70 percent credit is given, uh, weightage is given for the term and examination. And every year uh, in uh, uh, June and December we conduct term and examination. Then regular teleconferencing session, interactive radio counseling session, uh, in TV and radio at the same time regular live session in different social media we conduct to make us presence at your doorstep by using your mobile, by using your system, computer system you can contact with us you can understand uh, you know different aspect and you can also address your queries. Further so far as evaluation system is concerned I have already said that uh, 30 percent weightage is given to assignment and 70 percent weightage is given to uh, your tournament examination. Uh, you required a minimum D grade for passing a component uh, 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 in a course it may be assignment or it may be tournament examination but you required a combined C grade for completion of a course of a theory course uh, uh, <coughs> of this program. But so far as dissertation program is concerned, dissertation course is concerned uh, I will discuss in our next session uh, there for a dissertation evaluation, dissertation report at the same time five hours minimum C grade you have to earn. As per the IGNU practices we follow uh, a 5 point grading system that is A, B, C, D and E. I have already said that for successful completion of a course of a theory course in MA education program you have to earn at least a C grade and in, in, uh, in consolidated uh, for successful completion of this program you have to earn also a C grade not D grade. And uh, so far as admission process is concerned I have already said that uh, January 2022 session is likely to be announced if you have not enrolled definitely go through IGNU website you will find the online admission link and follow that link 
and take admission. So your admission will be conducted. You can take direct admission by uploading the requisite uh, documents. It may be your mark sheet, it may be your degree certificate and you can also uh, you can say pay your fee online. So you can take direct admission uh, uh, in January 2022 session. Uh, just to mention here uh, in 36th foundation day of Indira Gandhi National Open University as I have already said that this program is a popular program. This program uh, you know awarded as the best master degree program. This is for your information. For further queries, you can write a mail to me niradhar.ignu.ac.in. You can uh, uh, make me a telephone call also. My intercom is 2994. And you can visit my Facebook, my YouTube channel. Uh, the name of my channel is Transforming Education. And you can also follow my Twitter handle. So you'll find many such video lessons that will help you a lot for your study. Thank you. राजेश जी थोड़ा सा पानी मिल सकता है क्या एक